r slash ask reddit, what is 100% pure bullshit? I dated a girl that was all about cleanse. Turned out she was just an anorexic with a thing for enemas. Ticketmaster. Fuck Ticketmaster. More extra charges than a budget airline. This is the way. Ticketmaster was the beginning of the end of being able to just line up and buy a ticket for a show. Fuck them. Strong arm middlemen. Scientology. So sad what that cult does to people, would love to see them shut down in more countries for crimes against humanity. This is so true. Microtransactions on a full price game. Ads in the fucking comments section. For the first time in years I will not be buying the new Call of Duty game. It's been going downhill for so long and I finally had it. Microtransactions in general. I want big expansions back. We are a family here, so let us screw you over. To be fair, they never say the family isn't dysfunctional and abusive. That is 100% an early indicator for low pay, extra work hours, and non simothy when you have emergencies, medical or otherwise. I always wonder about when they say that, like oh well my family loves me and doesn't pay me for me to show up so how was your family? Health insurance and their endless shenanigans. My insurance has a $5,000 deductible. So basically I have to pay for every non-emergency medical expense. I quite literally do not go to the doctor anymore for regular checkups because I ain't paying $350 for them to put a stethoscope on my chest. It's such BS. 99% of dating advice. 100% of financial advice from anyone that posts videos as a job online. Top 10 tips to start your first side hustle, 100% success rate for teens. Yup. Absolute overkill. From my time working in a bookstore I realized that the best way to get rich was to write a book on how to get rich. Depends on the advice. Get rich quick schemes, definitely aren't it? However, I've learned quite a bit about how to properly file taxes from random YouTube videos. Citronella candles for mosquitoes. Bruh, I had a mosquito drown in one of mine. Sad face. Flat earth and fake moon landing theories. You'd be surprised how many people outside of the USA actually believe the moon landing one. I lived in Chile for 5 years and half of every conversation begins with oh, you're American? You know you guys never landed on the moon, right? Homeopathy. That's only 99% bullshit, thanks to the placebo effect. Water sold as a cure. I'm not sure why it isn't illegal. First of all, water is awesome. LOL don't make me get Adam Sandler on your ass. People forget, so sometimes you have to sell it. My cat starving when she just had food. Health insurance in the US. Motherfucking robbery. Influencers. Bullshit. Anything else is adulterated bullshit. God damn it. Take my upboat and go. That turning on the dome light at night is illegal and will cause the cops to pull over the car. Thanks mom and dad, I trusted you. The customer is always right. The full phrase is the customer is always right, in all things of taste, more aimed at style, or color rather than needs to function. For me it's, promises an employer makes. My favorite, we are not planning any layoffs in the near future. Three months later, 10,000 employees cut. Does your cat eat just in the middle and when they get to the bottom of the bowl freak out and scream at you? Because mine do. Diamonds are rare and hard to mine. They are in fact quite common and worth next to nothing. Honestly lab ones are just as pretty and cost a hell of a lot less to make. Instead of some diamond mine worker being worked to death in slavery conditions. They are worth what people are willing to pay. There's a great article from the Atlantic available online that just destroys the diamond myth on all levels. That vaccines cause autism. Just stop. Don't get me started on this one. I have autism, this one just pisses me off. As a psychological researcher, the DSM-3B. It is not based on any scientific merit but the unsubstantiated opinions of snooty psychology elites, which leads to two people with completely different symptoms being diagnosed with the same condition and prescribed drugs that makes one feel better and the other become suicidal. We need to sit down and reevaluate that hot garbage. The last depression med they tried to put me on had a higher rate of suicide for the med than for the placebo. I asked for a prescription for the placebo. One we're not a company, we're a family. Two online payment convenience fee. 
Big ass mega churches that feel more like sports venues than places of worship, with a pastor taking advantage of people looking for hope so that he could buy a new Ferrari or private jet. Flat Earth. QAnon. Zim. All utter bullshit. Essential oils. It baffles me that people buy this shit. But they smell nice. But I don't think you need overpriced dodora. There are studies that show that you sleep worse in a bad smelling environment. The answer is wash your sheets and bring the trash out but I do understand how people think it will help them. Stones charged with some mystical energy. Clearly you've never seen Temple of Doom. Yes, but something is keeping Keith Richards going. Our lack of universal health care. Astrology. That second one really grinds my gears. It's a greed fee. That's such a tourist thing to say. Booking fees for services you book yourself using an app or website. American healthcare system. We are a family here at backslash insert company backslash. Modern 9 to 5 jobs. I'd like one of those, please. He gets us. He get sus asterisk. It's not you, it's me. American healthcare and health insurance costs. Most developed nation on the planet and most of us can't afford to see a damn doctor. My power provider started doing this years ago. Then they got rid of their local office where you could pay in cash or check. Fuck them. Male cow feces. Male bovine feces. Kids are using litter boxes that schools have provided for them because the students think they are cats. People honestly believe that schools are doing this. When I hear this story repeated to me, it makes me want to puke a hairball. What's even more vomit inducing is that some classrooms did actually have cat litter in the supply cabinet. So that kids could use it as an emergency bathroom during a school shooting. Phenylephrine. Somehow they were slash are able to promote this as a cold medicine. An alternative to pseudoephedrine. Psychics. Any supplement that claims to cleanse your internal organs. We have a liver and kidneys, if your body is not cleansing itself please see a doctor. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.